Okay, y'all, so we have got some super simple meals this week. For the first meal, we we're doing some just good old fashioned tacos. We've got our taco meat here. Um, we've got some minute salsa rice. I have this recipe linked for you guys through Saffron. Um, this is actually like Luke's favorite rice. We've got some of our favorite cheese dip. I just heated up some on the stove top. Here it is. We just get this from Sam's Club and it's right under $7 for 32 ounces. Y'all, it is such a good deal. And it is a really good uh, cheese dip. Got some soft shells, cheese, salsa, salsa, sour cream, and then just some chips to go with the cheese dip. So we're having an at home Mexican night. Saves us quite a bit of money than eating out. Another meal that we had this week was a huge sub and tomato soup. We love doing these big subs. It's actually been a while since we fixed one. Just because they're on the pricier side on having to have the lunch meat. Normally we do buy just the deli. Just because it's better quality. But we decided to go with this huge sub pack of turkey and ham. And it ended up being just as good. Um, and so those are like $6.99 at our store. And um, y'all will see that I didn't use the whole entire amount but we do like our subs pretty beefy um and we like ours full of meat and cheese we don't skimp on that so that's why we did buy the big pack but i almost i think i still had one or two of those layers so like six slices left i think um but y'all will see in a second you can see inside once we get it cut but i just like to take and fold the meat up like i said this is turkey and ham of course you know you can use any kind that you want and then we used i had three packages of slices that i needed to use up so i just kind of did a mixture we have havarti provolone and swiss um, it, it was just random like I said they had been opened in the fridge and just needed to be used and so as you've seen I did take some of the crust or the bread itself out it just kind of helps with not being so bready um, not as thick um, so I like to do that and don't worry that doesn't go to waste um, either I eat it or Winston eats it <laughs> one of the two um, but we just add the cheese on and then I take and pop the top on and then I'll wrap it in foil and just put it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'm all wrapped up and then I unwrap it and let it kind of, let the bread kind of toast up unwrapped for about seven to eight more minutes and it was super good. The cheese gets all melty and the meat is all warmed through and this went perfect with our favorite tomato soup and then we also had some chips in case that you didn't want tomato soup you had chips as well Thank you. 
Another meal that we had last week was some grilled burgers. Just because there was a ton of snow outside doesn't mean that Luke is going to not get the grill out and um, grill us something. He did have to like chisel it out of the ground. It was it was frozen solid to the ground. Um, as you see, there is a ton of snow out, but it didn't stop him. He got the grill out, got it started, and we had some really good burgers. But to go along with the burgers, I was trying a new recipe from a cookbook that I was actually going to share Friday, but when I noticed that I was accidentally looking at two different recipes to make one recipe, I realized that I couldn't share it for Fridays, but it still turned out super, super good. So I'm just going to have my version typed out for y'all and um y'all can have it if you want it but this was so good so i just cooked a bag of broccoli according to the package directions and i drained the water off of that i have one can of cream of mushroom i have two of the um four ounce things of the Velveeta sauce because it called for um, eight ounces of like cubed Velveeta, but y'all know I don't keep that on hand, but I always keep the Velveeta cheese sauce on hand. So I just did two of those. I did like a handful of, of that cheese right there. And then onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper all to taste. Mixed that up, put that in a casserole dish, um, crumbled up some crackers on top, put a couple tabs of butter. I baked it in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. And y'all, I'm not, I'm not kidding. This was so freaking good. Like I said, I accidentally looked at the wrong recipe when I was doing this. And I realized, oh, I did add a can of milk as well. I forgot about that. But I, like I said, I got confused um, on which recipe I was looking at. And so I had already opened up the can of cream of mushroom soup. And I was like, forget it. I'm just going to add it in there and we'll hope for the best. But it turned out so good, and I was like, this was so good, so I still have to share it with y'all. So I'll have it typed out if you're interested. I feel like everybody has their own version of like a cheesy broccoli casserole, and this was my new favorite. Here are the burgers. They were all done. Luke put put some of the hot and spicy barbecue sauce from Suckle Busters on a couple of them. Of course, we didn't use that for Winston's, um, but we put it on ours, and it was so good. It did have quite a bit of heat to it, but I have the link for Suckle Busters in the description box, so y'all can check it out. Along with that, we did some air fryer roasted potatoes. I have a whole separate recipe video on this, so I'll have that linked for you guys as well. But here's this broccoli casserole. I'm telling y'all, it was so good. It was an accident, but it was amazing. <laughs> we will definitely be making this again. You know that we are huge broccoli cheese lover fans. So this was definitely a keeper. This meal was super delicious. Okay, y'all, so here's what we got. I just set out some cheese. If you want chili dogs, then 
you got cheese and then if you don't want a chili dog got mustard and ketchup y'all know winston absolutely is obsessed with ketchup we got a hot dog buns we've got our favorite mac and cheese like i shared in a second ago the cauliflower mac and cheese is our absolute favorite and i always add two slices of american cheese to any box mac and cheese it just gives it that extra creaminess it needs so i did that and then we've got our chili back there and then our hot dogs So we also had three different crock pot recipes. This video will actually be out next Wednesday. So y'all stay tuned for Wednesday's video. I will be sharing these three delicious crock pot meals. We had a crock pot pasta dish. We had a queso chicken. And I also did a chocolate cobbler dessert in the crock pot. Like I said, this video will be out Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. But that ends this week's video. I hope you guys enjoy this What's for Dinner video. I hope it gave you all kinds of dinner inspiration. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.